All right, so triceps is our big, strong muscle on the back of the arm. Our prefix tri means three. three. Awesome. So we're talking about three heads here. Uh, this image, we can kind of just see two of them well. Um, but this little one is poking out. So we got a uh, medial head. Um, excuse me. We got a long head, a medial head, and a short head. Um, but let's take a look at them one at a time. So. The O, starting with our long head, is infraglenoid tubercle of a scapula. So you may recognize this as being very close to another muscle that's tight on everybody. What else attaches way up there? Terry's minor. Woo! You guys are rocking it. I heard a lot of people answer Terry's minor. This is even higher than Terry's minor. So um, as you're palpating along the medial border of the scapula, excuse me, lateral border of the scapula, mm -hmm. um, you'll cross past the very palpable teres minor. And then if you go up more superiorly, it's even higher up. Our, very darn close to the armpit. I mean, you're clearly going to be on the border of the scapula, not the like nervy soft part of the armpit, but it's way up there. Yep. Uh, lateral head originates on the posterior surface of the proximal half of the humerus. So proximal more towards the shoulder. And we can't see this in this drawing, but it's way up here. Um, sure, trail guide has another picture where the actual uh, origin is more visible. And I shaded the wrong one, my bad. Uh, apparently I'm needing a break too. Um, the lateral head is this one over here. Right. Yeah. And the medial head is down here. Yeah. The medial head is posterior surface of the distal half of the humerus. And we will, let's actually scoot over to a different drawing where that actually makes more sense. So this is a better uh, drawing where you can see this medial head has this big origin on this distal aspect um, and this lateral head up here. And then here's the um, medial head. Long head, thank you. Long, medial, and then um, lateral. All right, so our origins, uh, they all converge. This part is easier. Um, they all converge on this great big tendon, which is flat. You know, you will feel and see this on clients where all these muscle bellies converge to this flat tendon and to go to the olecranon process of the elbow, which is just your pointy bit. And the tendons are, you can feel those um, proximal to that. Um, you'll notice this like on big like weight trainers or big football players where they'll have these big beefy triceps, but yeah, yeah, totally. And like this, this flat bit here, even if they're big and strong, that's totally natural. It's because of the shape of the heads. All right. So sections, um, something that will hopefully help you. Uh, to not just memorize all these is if you really think about it and look at what joints is crossing. Our long head is the only one that actually crosses the glenohumeral joint. So it connects on the shoulder and the elbow, whereas the other heads can only act on the elbow. So it's because of crossing over here onto this infraglenoid tubercle that it can act on the shoulder. So our long head extend the elbow bring in the elbow back um, and extend the shoulder. It can also adduct the shoulder, bring in the shoulder. In. Whereas the other heads uh, can only act on the elbow and they um, extend the elbow. Um, yeah, your brains are a little fried. I don't know if I wanna just real quickly uh, it's related to how we were talking about these muscles, like actually in action. Any of you who work out at the gym, probably put your arms in special positions. Because of gravity, this extension of the elbow in this position 
doesn't actually engage your triceps. But if you are up or back or back, then you have to actually engage your triceps. So that's that's why you're doing that. Questions, comments? 